Hi, Ken Willett with NFPA, and today I'd like to take a minute to talk to you about something that's garnered a lot of attention recently, and that's the presence of solar panels on rooftops during firefighting operations. A recent warehouse fire in New Jersey and a residential structure fire in California have brought that to the attention of both the media and the fire service community again. So I'd like to take a minute to tell you what NFPA has to help you as an authority having jurisdiction, as a fire marshal, as an electrical installer, and as a firefighter in making the installation of solar panels and firefighting operations safe. First, NFPA produces NFPA 70, the National Electrical Code. Article 690 talks extensively about the installation of photovoltaic panels and the ancillary equipment. It details labeling, disconnect devices, and other safety requirements. This document is to be used by the electrical official and by installers in ensuring that the installation of photovoltaic panels is done to the highest level of safety that appears in the National Electrical Code. Secondly, NFPA 1, the National Fire Code, in Chapter 11.12 gives very definite guidance on the installation practices for the panels. It addresses things like access paths for the fire department. In a residential structure, it recommends that there be a minimum three-foot setback from the edge, from the eave, and from the ridge for the panels. And that there be several pathways, a minimum of three feet wide, going from the eave to the ridge of the structure to allow the fire department access to the roof for ventilation and other firefighting operations. For larger structures, it also provides recommendations. It increases the setback distance and the width of the egress path for the fire department. Now keep in mind, solar panels and the ancillary equipment are very sophisticated systems. You should recognize the fact that they are an electrical generation device. Some have the capacity to store electricity as well as provide it back into the grid and to the consumer. These areas were recognized by our Fire Protection Research Foundation in a 2010 study entitled Firefighter Safety and Emergency Response for Solar Power Systems. That identified the potential hazards to the fire service and other responders for electrical shock, tripping, and the obstacles presented by these panels when doing rooftop firefighting operations. Additionally, it identified that during overhaul procedures, when you're operating under the roof and there could be charged panels above you and the wiring carrying the current through the structure, that firefighters might encounter these charged cables while pulling ceilings, opening walls, or doing other physically intense overhaul procedures. These three documents, NFPA 70 and Article 690, NFPA 1, Chapter 11.12 and the Fire Protection Research Foundation report are designed to provide the highest level of safety for the installer, the consumer, and the responder. Take advantage of these, they're there for your safety.